Hey guys, this is Vibhu Chawa, and today I'll be talking about how you can accelerate text processing with rapids on GPUs. About me, I am a data scientist and engineer on rapids, where I currently work on building GPU accelerated data science products. Before NVIDIA, I was a master's student at Johns Hopkins, where my research was focused on building interpretable machine learning models for healthcare and natural language processing. So in the presentation today, we'll be going over basics about rapids, then essentially discuss more on how strings are stored in rapids and what are the primitives that we provide on these functions and how essentially you, you can do complex thing processing pipelines using rapids and Python. So about rapids, so rapids is a suite of open source libraries incubated by NVIDIA with focus on accelerating GPU data science end to end. We essentially provide equivalence with a lot of by data ecosystems like for pandas, we have QDF, which is data frames accelerated on GPUs following the similar API. We have QML, which is the scikit learn equivalent on GPUs. We play very nicely with the deep learning frameworks and we scale out using Dask. So how are strings stored in Rapids? So strings essentially are stored in Rapids in QDF in our data frames as a column. A strings column can essentially have multiple string, uh, have variable length strings per row and the parallelism happens on a row level. Essentially each string gets its own thread and all general pandas like operations work with these strings. Currently, custom lambda functions are not supported, but we are actively working towards adding support for that. So as you can see, we have a very wide coverage with the string operations on pandas, with operations like concatenation split, write split, length, is alum, and also have a lot of converters that allow you to go from one D type to another with strings. So apart from the pandas like string functions, we also have functions under NV text. So a lot of times text processing deals with tokens or words rather than strings. And we provide a lot of common functions that you will require when you're working with text. These functions include functions like tokenize, token counts, replace token, normalize spaces, n-gram generation, subword tokenization, and all of these accept and return string QDF columns. So let's now look at how with the same pandas like API in Python, we can get up to 150x speed up when we are going from pandas on CPUs to QDF on GPU. So in this pipeline, what we are doing is we are doing very common people's six steps like filtering punctuations, lowercase conversion, removing stop words, removing multiple occurrences of space with a single word, removing leading spaces. So like the API that we are using here are translate, lower case conversion, and strip. So like these APIs themselves are really fast. Like it takes only 330 milliseconds to do translate on the GPU versus 31.8 seconds with pandas. The lowercase conversion only takes 115 milliseconds in this case versus five seconds. So all these functions enable interactive exploration of data because essentially you don't have to wait a minute for the pipeline to convert. It only takes a second. You don't have to wait 150 seconds. So Apart from the functions like pandas equivalent functions, we also use some of the NV text functions that I mentioned earlier here. The functions that we're using are normalized spaces and replace tokens. So normalized spaces essentially replace multiple occurrence of space with a single one. Replace token here is used for essentially replacing the stop words or the commonly occurring words with a white space character. And as you can see, this is a very, very similar API to what you'll expect in Pandas. But now it just works on GPUs and is really fast. So 
the functions that we discussed before this allows you not only to do the string processing work, but also to help build a more high level APIs like vectorizer, portal stemmer, all in the all while remaining in Python and not writing a CUDA level code or C level code. So in our QML library, our tokenizers are written with a in a similar process. So we have vector, we have TFIDF vectorizer, count vectorizer, we have hashing vectorizer, and we also have multi-GPU support using Dask. So text vectorization currently is up to 20x faster than sklearn. And we also essentially support most of the common sklearn pre-processing steps like stopper removal, engram generation, filtering alphanumeric characters, L1 norm, L2 norm. So essentially after vectorization, you can send your vectors into a QML machine learning model and essentially run a stand run a traditional machine learning text pipeline like that. But if you wanted to learn run a deep learning NLP based pipeline, which is often common nowadays for most of the NLP tasks, you can also do that with the amazing ecosystem that's provided by Dask, Rapid, a hugging face, PyTorch, TensorFlow. So the, the process of doing this will look like you'll do your pre-processing on QDF Dask. Then you, you have a subword tokenizer, which is essentially follows the bird subword tokenization process and gives you out, uh, takes in a QDF strings column, gives you out QPI vectors, and it's really fast. And then those QPI arrays, you can essentially um, send them to your favorite deep learning framework like PyTorch or TensorFlow using a two DL pack and from DL pack. So essentially your data never leaves the device. And once you're done with your model, you essentially can bring them back to the QDF for the QDF or Cooper land and run your number functions or any functions that you make. So the server tokenizer I just mentioned, it's right now about 483x faster than the hugging face tokenizer. So the idea here is that because like hugging face is really amazing and it provides you with all the amazing models that are out there. So essentially now hugging face and rapids play really nicely together. And as an example of this, I worked on a TPC XBB query 27, which is essentially a big data benchmark query. And we were able to achieve about 5x better performance than the leading Spark and Ohm when NLP submission. So not only we we achieve five x better performance, we essentially were able to do this at a ten terabyte scale factor and achieve near state of the art performance. So essentially, there has been research that has shown that the the current bird based models gave up to a ten to fifteen percent lift in F one score, which is huge. And if you can do that and get an F one score increase, as well as essentially five x better performance, it's a win all around and all of this essentially is with the same tools we love this is essentially using hugging face dask and rapids which is essentially the pydata apis that are present with pandas and sklearn and it all just plays really nicely together so i highly recommend you check out our website as well as check out our github repos and please feel free to raise issues or any feature requests or any documentation requests and give rapids for your NLP workflows a shot. Thanks a lot, guys.